So today's the big day. We're actually gonna knock out a bunch of our fence post installment today. Our friend Brandon is out here with his tractor and his incredible post driver. We have run into a few hiccups already. Probably the biggest one is that right down here, the creek is a swamp. And uh, he was worried he was gonna get his tractor stuck down in there. So I've actually got three posts right there and one post here that I need to put in by hand. But honestly, I can't complain. If I'm putting in like a hundred and something fence posts today and I put in three or four by hand, I can't complain about that at all. They're funny animals. Sweet. We really enjoy them. We'll be keeping her for sure. Yeah. Keeping her littlest baby. I don't know if I'm going to keep her. And then this, these two brown ones over here. Okay. Yeah. The rest of them. We got so many posts in the ground today. And that machine, I think that's the most dangerous machine or most dangerous tractor attachment I have ever seen. If that thing hit your head, you would not make it to the hospital. Uh, you would not live to see a paramedic. Well, <laughs> you wouldn't live before a paramedic drove to your house. Okay, you can see we've got this beautiful row of posts here. We wanted to do wooden posts by the house, and we got to do that. These posts are in. This nice row down here, these posts are in. And we've got all of our corner bracing up all the way around this whole field. There's just the one exception, is that really muddy spot down there in the creek where he didn't want to put, get the tractor stuck in there, and I don't blame him. Woohoo! it's windy! So we're really close to having all the wooden posts in the ground. Remember how worried I was that I wasn't gonna get enough locust posts? <laughs> I wanna show you something. Look at this. That's about 20 locust posts that are actually gonna be extra. What happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. We, Brandon looked at a bunch of these and said, there's no way we're driving those, we need to split them. So we split quite a few in this other pile down here 
and they were big enough to use for our bracing, so we ended up with extra posts. Now, on one hand that sucks because they were expensive, and I don't think I have enough money to buy all my gates right now. On the other hand, that's awesome because we can stack them up and then we can use them for future fencing projects, and there will be future fencing projects in the upper pasture, so that's great. Yeah. How many eggs do you have? Oh, I don't know. Do you have two in each pocket? No. Oh, be careful. Be very careful. Take them inside and put them away, okay? Okay. Don't, don't fall down or drop them. Yep. Good job, buddy. Good job. And that was another great day on the homestead. I hope you all join us in the coming days as we're continuing to work on fencing, hopefully working on our garden soon, late start in the garden, but that's okay. We'll have an amazing garden next year. <laughs> no, we're gonna have a great garden this year. You look so pretty in that dress, girl. Chase. Joy, do you want to get Coco? Can you help Justice? Okay. <clears throat>